Three Roosevelt and High School students are facing charges tonight for allegedly bringing weapons to school. Colonel Brady Mallory explains what happened and why one of the students was taken to the juvenile detention center. Police officers say they were able to arrest three teenage boys thanks to some alert staff members at Roosevelt High School. A 14 year old and a 16 year old, um, both of them had BB guns in their backpacks. Uh, staff found out about it, alerted the SRO. Uh, they were both charged with having a weapon on, the, on school grounds. But then it got worse when a 15 year old student was confronted. He punched one of the staff members and when the officers were trying to arrest him he ended up kicking one of the officers. The officer wasn't badly injured but the student also had several BB guns in his backpack. He was taken to the juvenile detention center and is now facing charges of having a weapon on school grounds. Simple assault as well as simple assault on a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest. I don't know what they were planning on doing with the guns, but they all knew each other. So I, there's probably something more that was going on. Officer Clement says students and staff are vital to keeping everyone safe. There's other kids, they may see it, they may hear about it, and they're doing the right thing and they're notifying staff. So it's I'd say by far probably most of the time we're alerted to the fact when somebody has a weapon on school grounds. The Sioux Falls School District says that the boys were trying to sell or trade the BB guns. Authorities say that there was never any threat to teachers or other students.